and I kind and um, for my subscribers, yes, I did recently um get a Q1 Ultra, but I will talk more about that in my upcoming video. But anyways, um. In this video, I'm going to just talk to you about getting the fingerprint sensor working. If your Q1 uh, Ultra does have the optional fingerprint sensor, which mine does. So anyways, first thing you want to do is, um, of course, download and extract. Um, and then install the fingerprint software. Unless you, already, uh, unless you probably have the original re recovery media, then it should be on the pink disc. Again, um, I'm talking about uh, the uh, this one. I'm not talking about this for XP. Um, only for Vista and uh, you know Seven. So, anyways, I already installed the driver itself, but for some reason, when I try to find drivers, uh, couldn't find a software to actually use the fingerprint sensor. Only the driver itself. So, I'm gonna help you to actually get. Uh, an old version of digital persona personal uh, meant for use with HP computers but it should work here since it's the software only and not a driver I'll go ahead and link you to uh, where you can get the drivers um, your soft pack numbers um, I'll link you in the description but uh, for Vista 32 bit uh it is four zero two zero six uh for windows seven thirty two bit it is four seven six two one which i um and then uh for for a uh, windows seven sixty four bit which you probably wouldn't need unless you uh have another computer with a fingerprint sensor uh that is a sixty four bit system but in this case i'm pretty sure this is a thirty two bit uh, so anyway, 64-bit uh, Windows 7 uh, software, I mean soft tag number, soft, uh, for this, I mean for Windows 7 64-bit, it is uh, soft pack 48018. Again, I will, okay, never mind. So anyways, I'm pretty sure, I'm assuming you downloaded this to, uh, your downloaded, I mean your downloads folder on your, uh, on your system itself, but for me, uh, since I was kind of a bit lazy, I did, uh, excuse me, but I decided to, uh, copy it to my flash drive. So anyways, I'll go and run that. Uh, for some, normally I think you can, like, uh, I think I will just, uh, remove afterwards. Anyways, also because, uh, this version, I believe, uh, Digital Persona no longer makes this software. Uh, so, um, uh, I, at least that's what I think, but. Hopefully it actually comes up. Yeah, I can see disk activity and um, yeah, I am running Windows 7 32 bit So I'll wait for that to come up here Okay, it seems to be taking its time. I'll pause and then I'll come back once it's opened. Okay, I see now it seems to be running a silent install. So it's actually uh, kind of installing. I'm gonna check my start menu. Yeah, I think it's actually inst uh, doing a silent installation. Oh, there it is. 
seems to install but I'm probably gonna wait for a uh, and disconnect my flash drive so uh so as far as i have tried the vista version on here and while it did fail um it kind of looked like the vista version would um actually uh do a standard installation uh, in the GUI where you can click the next button and all that stuff But it seems that this Windows 7 version uh, Is a silent install So I'm gonna just check my task manager here uh, See if there's any setup.exe Okay, I think it might be installed already, so if this works. Oh dear, my hands are kind of oily right now. Uh, hopefully I click the right icon. Oh, okay, it installs right now. I'm gonna just uh okay so getting started I uh, will uh I have actually used this software in a uh a while back uh back when I had a HP TouchMate TX2 so I'm kind of familiar with this hold on I'll be right next I need to go and uh, wash my fingers they are kind of greasy right now Okay, so we have a, f a working fingerprint sen uh, sensor, uh, which is good since the only other computer I have with a fingerprint sensor, my ThinkPad R52, uh, the fingerprint sensor in there is actually uh, broken. While it does, I mean it does recognize in Windows, but I cannot actually scan, but here it does appear to work, so that's good. So uh, now I need to go and set up a password in Windows. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the kickstand. On mine, since this was a unit in not very good condition, it actually fell off the previous owner's there, so I uh, kickstand broke. I had to bodge up my own kickstand, which uh, falls further back than the original, but it works for me. So I'm gonna create a password. I'm going to key in a password here. Oh yeah, and probably you might not be able to tell by the profile, I mean by the account picture, but this system was running Vista by upgraded it to 7. So, anyways, now I should be able to set up. So, yes, I am. Yeah. Okay, enter my password. So I'm going to do that and make sure my fingerprints are not greasy. I'm only going to enroll my left hand since the uh, fingerprint sensor is only on the left side. Uh, see, unsuccessful scan. Previously, when I had my TouchMart TX2 and back 
when it didn't have the uh, GPU issue and it was working and all that. Fingerprint sensor was on the right uh, side, so I only enrolled. Uh, so I think I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna go next. So finished. Now I'm gonna uh, finish here. But they bring the kickstand back up. And uh, I believe I can... Uh, I think it also plugs into Internet Explorer to uh, let you swipe your fingerprint to log on to websites. Um, although... Don't think I'll talk about that for now, but I'm going to just go ahead and log out. And uh, see if it actually works. But yup, we have a success. I mean, we have a working fingerprint sensor. Great. I don't know what fingerprint sensor uh, Samsung would have installed. Uh, if it did, I mean, on the uh, original Vista factory load. Because while I do have the original blue and pink disc, uh, discs, I only have them for the regular Q1. I don't have any media for the Q1 Ultra, so... Oh, okay, I remember now. I did change my profile, I mean my logon uh, thing. But for some reason, it was showing my old uh, Vista profile photo because, uh, I mean, my old, old account picture from when I was using Vista. So I'm going to swipe my fingerprint. And as you can see, it works. So anyways, uh, this is Kevin signing off. Thanks for watching.